What is up everybody? Welcome to your 38 tutorial. I'm gonna do this entire tutorial singing a song. No, actually I'm not. But anyways, in this tutorial we're gonna be going over something called fixed positioning. It's the last positioning that we have to cover in Fixed positioning is actually a lot like absolute positioning in the idea that you're going to have a coordinate in your top left point on your screen. And just like absolute positioning, it's going to move the element absolutely where it is. But the one and the main difference between fixed positioning and absolute positioning, and it's actually the only difference, is whenever you scroll your screen, if you have an element that's absolutely position and you scroll your screen down that element is you know gonna ex do what you expect it to do and scroll off the screen but with fixed positioning that element stays in the same place on your website and it doesn't move so it can scroll over other text or you know it's just gonna stay there and no matter how hard or how fast you scroll it's not gonna move so this is kind of a weird type of positioning but um and by the way, I just want to mention this. This is the most uncommon type of positioning. Hardly anyone ever uses this. I never used it when I built a website. Um, but I have to tell you guys about it because I just can't, you know, skip over a topic. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of paragraphs. So paragraph and ending paragraph. And let's just write, um, I am the Sandman, let me in. Easy Metallica, something like that actually says I ma the same and let me in so let's go ahead and paste this a couple times and let's just go ahead copy this paste that and hey why not a couple more so now just go ahead and why am I doing this well I'm just wanna have a website where we can actually scroll down so now you can see we have some stuff to uh, scroll and it's not just you know one paragraph or something so actually let's go ahead and change up this first paragraph and make it something with the ID just name this ID tuna and in the paragraph we'll just write like tuna mctuna man mctuna they should definitely make a McDonald's sandwich called mctuna I wouldn't need it sounds disgusting but I'm just saying they should make it so now let's just go ahead and apply some styles to this ID actually I already got my style tags how convenient so now in this tuna ID, what do we want to do? First of all, let's go ahead and give it a border of like border two pixels solid green, I guess. Why the heck not? Something that's easy to see. And now position, let's go ahead and write fixed. Just like that. And now let's go ahead and give it coordinates. So you're beginning to see that this is basically the exact same as absolute positioning. The only difference is that instead of absolute, we write fixed. So now let's go ahead and give it left 65 or 64 pixels. Who the heck cares? Save this, refresh, and see what we got. Now our first paragraph is in a box that's Hmm, I probably should move this over more, but I'm not going to. Way too lazy for that. That's 60 pixels down from the top and 65 from the left. So exactly like absolute positioning, it takes a box and it positions it absolutely on your web page exactly where you told it to. But check this out. The only difference is when absolute you would scroll and this could go off the screen, it would slowly move up. Whenever you scroll this, it stays fixed on your web page just like that so no matter how hard I scroll try to get it off it just staying there and it's annoying so anyways like I said people generally don't use fixed a whole lot when making web pages because I mean have you ever been to a web page and it just did that and be like yeah there's a reason I scrolled to get you out of my sight and you're still there you know so anyways I just wanted to go over it because I mean it, I thought it was appropriate so anyways that's the difference between absolute and fixed it's one difference but it's a big difference so I guess if you wanted to be a real idiot then you could do something like this go ahead and delete that and then just go ahead and write fixed border and write like one pixel solid gray and I got an idea for the top let's put it like 55 pixels and for the left let's put it like 290 pixels 
So I guess if you were a jerk, you can just refresh this, and there would be they would load the web page, and then they would see this dot on their screen, and be like, oh man, my monitor is scratched. Is it or is it the web page? And then they scroll down and see that that dot actually stays there, and they're like, oh well, I guess my monitor is just scratched. So, <laughs> so anyways, if you wanted to be, you know, a D head, you could do that. I'm just saying. So, anyways. That is the beauty of fixed. I guess, I guess that's actually the only reason you would ever want to use the fixed positioning if you wanted to just make a fake scratch on their monitor. So, yeah, I know it's dumb, but hey, it's all I got. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I have no idea what I'm going to be going over, but it's going to be amazing. So, anyways, uh, like I said, thanks. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching my videos. And thank you for just being you. So anyways, I'll see you in the next video.